I joined a small company that you might have heard of called Cambridge Analytica and learned a lot more about data than I bargained for over those years. I did some incredible data science projects for governments, political parties, companies all around the world and learned a lot about how it works, but eventually I ended up learning about how it shouldn't work. I saw that in the hands of some of my clients, especially political parties, that they decided to abuse those tools, literally using them in the opposite ways that I had experienced on the Obama campaign and using tools that were much more advanced than what we had in 07, 08. And that experience of being able to see how political campaigning goes incredibly wrong, how negative it can get, how much it can abuse people's rights, how much it can stifle the political process, made me completely rethink my involvement in something like that and, again, become a whistleblower after trying within the company to get them to stop doing some of the things they were doing, and it didn't work. So decided to start working with legislators, regulators, investigative journalists around the world to teach them how these tools work, how they can be abused, and how we can possibly get to a point where people's rights can be protected, especially our democratic rights, our ability to participate holistically in the democratic process, our ability to be properly represented and not have our vote be stifled, to not be targeted with misinformation, fake news, to a point where our vote is suppressed even, which unfortunately I saw that in some campaigns that those tactics had been used. So that's really where I moved from human rights activism to data rights activism, because although it's a similar conversation, it's about how we can find this balance for technology and the use of technology to be something that is empowering instead of something that could easily be seen as a violation of our rights.